Here we have an image of the Sultan of Zanzibar. And there's another image. Sultan of Zanzibar. A Sultan would be described as an absolute ruler or despot, the sovereign of an Islamic country. Here we have another image. This is the same Sultan of Zanzibar as he is older. Here, here we have an image of the Sultan of Morocco leaving his palace. These Negroes, clearly. We have another image here. This is the Sultan Karada de Adeshe from Chad, another Negro Sultan. And here we have the Sultan of Mysore, another Negro. Sultan of Morocco again. Here we have a famous um, image from Lapid Journal. It goes back to 1905. It is called The Sultan Meets the French. Take a good look. That's what a white man looks like. These are Caucasians. These are the French. And these are the Negroes. The leaders. And here you have the Sultan Ali bin Hamad and the Englishmen who form his government. These are the Negro Sultans and even within the English government or the Englishmen who form his government this man here is clearly a Negro as well. In this image we have the Sultan Abdul Medjid, another Negro. Sultan Abdul Medjid. Here we have a famous painting, it's called The Study of Moorish Heads. Moorish Heads, meaning Negroid. And Eurocentrists want to steal that term and say that the Moors were white. How ridiculous. Here's another Moor, famous painting called The Standing Guard. Another painting called The Sorte de la Mare. Also, clearly, a court of Negroes, including the one sitting on the throne. This is a North African image also, very old, of also black North Africans who were the Moors. Here is a royal procession of Sultan Abd al-Aziz IV in Morocco. Clearly, Negroes. Take a good look. This is what the Eurocentrists are trying to lie to you about. And this is one of the reasons they want to lie. This painting is called Romantic Interlude. They have a problem with this, the fact that so many uh, uh, clearly white women were enslaved by these black Moors and made into their concubines. And this union is actually what explains the lightening of the Moors over the years because the Moors dynasties lasted over 700 years. So eventually, when these two have offspring, they are going to be lighter. That's just a common since reality. The Moors did not bring their women with them when they conquered Spain and much of Europe. This is a painting called The Return from the Tiger Hunt. One, two, three, four, five Moorish warriors, clearly Negroes. This is a relatively modern image. It's the rear view of a member of the Sultan's Guard, clearly a Negro. Here's an image of Princess Di and Prince Charles with the Sultan of Oman. Here you have an image a picture is called Preparing the Hookah. This is a black man, this is a black man as well. Where are these Caucasians? Here's a famous painting called the It is a Portrait of Urswell Maharaja or the Prince of Sarohi of India, also Negro in appearance. Here's something the Eurocentrists wish they could hide or deny, but they cannot. They want to say that the Moors were slaves, but they cannot explain. That's why all of the image I'm, images I'm show you, showing you are of Moorish, clearly Negro leaders, sultans, sheiks, kings, princes, including this image here. This is the Pope, and this is the crest with the black Moor with wearing the crown. Outside the Salem, Teba, and Constantinople, all of these black Moorish North Africans. And then you have the crests, the numerous crests, the hundreds of crests with the black Moors' heads on them. This is Moni Hassan. This is from 1535, another clearly Negroid Moor. And another famous painting, the ambassador of Morocco, a Negro as well. Here's another famous image with the black Moor on the top. Moors' chieftain.